Hey everyone, welcome to Amzi Plays, and in this video we're going to be going over the spoilers that uh, we received for episodes 134 to 137, and we'll go over the episode title for episode 138. So yeah, I'm just looking at uh, these episode spoilers on Serebii forums, so 3 to 1, let's go. So. Episode 134, Everyone's Fully Powered, The Road to, semi to the Semi-Finals. So, the match between Kiawe and Sophocles concludes. It is time for Alana and Guzma's match, the fourth match on the second stage. So this is the next episode that's supposed to air on Sunday. Um, so, Kiawe and Sophocles are gonna battle. Kiawe is probably gonna win. Alana faces Guzma and she obviously loses because like Guzma's the main antagonist and she she can't win basically. So yeah, that's it for episode 134. So episode 135, the semifinals, Kiawe versus Gladion. So uh, Kiawe's sister, Hoshi, is attacked by the Skull Gang, and the ones who save her, is, who saves her, is his opponent Gladion. What's going to happen to the match now? So. It seems like they had this plot where the Team Skull um, attack Kiawe's sister. I don't know her English name, but then I guess Gladion saved her, so now Kiawe is probably um, feeling a bit conflicted when battling Gladion because like he saved his sister, so um, yeah, but I'm pretty sure Gladion's gonna win that one episode. 136, Rising Fire, there's more than one rival, so... Uh, the match between Kiawe and Gladion concludes. The next match is between Ash and Guzma, the man who wants to destroy the Pokemon League. So yeah, I'm excited for this episode. It seems like Ash and Guzma are gonna face off, and... Yeah, I think that's like one of the most anticipated battles. Guzma has shown that he is a really strong trainer, just from his first battle with Ash. The Galissapod took a lot of hits and I think Guzma is like almost champion level, I wanna say. Episode 137, Guzma the Undefeated. So just from that title, you would think that Ash is probably gonna lose uh, this battle, but by reading the summary, it's the second match of the semifinals. And Guzma's partner with Pokemon, uh, Galissapod, Emergency Exit ability activated. Um, so someone had to battle, so another Pokemon Guzma had had to battle, and it lost to uh, Torakak, and then Guzma gets mad at his Glissapod to, gets mad at his Glissapod because he activated his ability, and uh, even though Guzma has been in the lead so far, he gradually loses his pace as he sees his old rival Kukui and Ash's fourth right eye. So I think that means that Guzma sees a Kukui in Ash because Ash and Kukui are probably a lot alike. So Guzma feels like he's battling uh, Kukui by battling Ash. So that probably irritates him. And I think that's probably what leads him to uh, lose the battle because like he just can't control himself and then Ash probably finds a way to get the upper hand and then that's probably how Ash wins but yeah I'm looking forward to that battle because like I don't know how Ash is gonna win because Guzma has been shown to be like a strong trainer so I'm excited to see what kind of strategy Ash is gonna have to beat Guzma because I don't think Guzma is gonna win because like then it'll be Guzma versus Gladion and that just doesn't really make much sense even though Gladion used to work for Guzma, like in the games, because like Gladion was part of Team Skull for a little bit. But I think Ash needs to be the one to defeat Guzma. And I think Ash is gonna be in the finals facing Gladion. So we got the title for episode 138 of the finals, the ultimate rival showdown. So we only got the title for that one, but yeah, since this is the ultimate rival showdown, it only makes sense for it to be Ash and Gladion because like there's like no other rival there, and 
Yeah, I think Gladion has been like the main rival in the series. Like Ash has faced Gladion a few times, and like I think most of the times Ash has lost. So maybe Ash is gonna lose again. But I mean, he could win too because like he hasn't won yet. So I think it could go either way. Ash could win. Or Gladion could win. But I really hope that Ash wins because if Ash loses, then like he wouldn't have had a single win against Gladion. I don't think. Unless like, Ash won somewhere and I didn't watch that episode or if I don't remember him winning. But yeah, I think like Gladion's uh, Silvali. I think that's how you pronounce it. Is pretty strong. And uh, yeah, I don't know how Ash is gonna beat Gladion, but I feel like Ash has a good chance of winning the league this time because like he's been like with Kukui for the entire show he's been living with Kukui and it would only make sense for him to battle Kukui in the end because like from the first episode he started living with Kukui, Professor Kukui and it would make sense for him to battle Professor Kukui because Professor Kukui has been sort of Ash's role model in this series and I think it would be nice to have him battle in the end and yeah to have like some nice closure to their relationship uh, before the Sun and Moon series ends. Yeah I feel like the way this is leading up Ash will be in the semi in the finals at least I think because yeah I don't think News Moon will face off against Gladion but it could be wrong. Yeah then Gladion will have to be the one to beat Guzma. Or Guzma and Kukui will battle. I mean, that would also be pretty cool to see Guzma and Kukui battle each other. Professor Kukui, when he's like the royal mask, he has shown like he is a really good champion. Like he's champion level, I'd say, because his incinerator is really strong. I think Guzma is also like almost just as strong as he is. So, so I wonder how uh, Guzma's arc is going to end because like usually the, the bad guy, the antagonist, uh, finds out why he's doing things the wrong way because the protagonist, the good guy, like shows them how to do things the right way like with Ash versus Paul. Um, well, I mean Ash kind of showed Paul that you should be friendly with your Pokemon when he beat him in the Pokemon League, but I don't know, Paul's tragedy with his Pokemon also um, kind of worked because like the, when one of the battles when Ash and Paul battled, like Paul completely defeated Ash. Like that was a really good battle, that 6 versus 6 battle where Ash lost. And in the Pokemon League, like Paul didn't use the same Pokemon, but yeah, I guess he still kind of got the message that it's better to be friendly with your Pokemon than to mistreat your Pokemon. So I wonder what's, what kind of message Guzma is going to get from this battle because like obviously Guzma has to change from this battle or else like his character will just seem like underdeveloped if he just stays mad at Kukui and doesn't accept Kukui's uh, way of thinking on things. So yeah, I'm interested to see how Guzma is gonna like develop as a character from his battle with Ash. Yeah, I really hope we get to see Ash versus Kukui, and I hope that Ash wins the Pokemon League this time because like even though it's sort of like I'd say this league is a little bit watered down compared to the other leagues because like there was no gym challenge and like, basically everyone could battle in the Pokemon League and like, that just doesn't seem as it doesn't seem as impactful as when there were gyms. It was, like you had to beat the eight gyms. And even in X and Y, like there was someone who was battling Ash like right before his first match because he didn't get the 8 gym badges in the show, like just getting the 8 gym badges is kind of an accomplishment in it of itself because like not everyone can get the 8 gym badges, but in this league like everyone was able to join and battle. I mean it was nice still because like we know all of the characters who are battling so it makes it a little bit more nicer and like we kind of get the characters and we can understand them a little bit better, like they're not completely random characters. We've seen these characters throughout the entire series. 
have sun and moon, so yeah, I guess that's the nice part of it. But yeah, I really hope that Ash wins the league this time because, like, they don't want him to win the league, but, like, there's no reason why he shouldn't win the league, you know? Like, they could still continue the series if he wins the league. But, I mean, we'll see what happens, and I'm looking forward to the Gallagher series, the Sword and Shield series. Like, I'm really excited for that series, so, yeah, I hope I could, uh, talk about those episodes and do episode discussions on those episodes that come out and I'm interested to see like what direction they'll go with that series because like they could continue the Sun and Moon style or they could go back to the X and Y style but yeah we'll see what happens so yeah let me know your thoughts on these episodes and these spoilers and if you're excited for Ash vs Guzma and the Ash vs. Gladion, hopefully. And even Ash vs. Kukui. Yeah, I'm really expecting Ash vs. Kukui. Although, I probably shouldn't get my hopes up. Um, the Sun and Moon series is slowly coming to a close. I think, like, by uh, November it will end. And, um, yeah, that's coming up really soon. Three years has gone by pretty fast, but, yeah, now. We gotta look forward to the next series. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. So that's gonna be it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.